Hi 3D Artist. In this video tutorial, we will show you how you can easily organize your scattered data files in the form of 3ds max file beside its related preview image. Let's kick start with a simple 53D models library which contains high level of files possibility. As shown in the Windows canvas, the 3D library is composed of compressed files and uncompressed folders. Let's check the contents of some of the uncompressed files. However, the compressed files are varying in three different extensions of RAR, 7Z, and ZIP. Do you think those are all the problems that we have? Let's check first the various possibilities of the files to have a deeper look. In this canvas, we have classified the files possibilities into two main folders. First, the uncompressed files are those files that were previously extracted by the user. The compressed files could be classified into damaged and healthy file. The damaged files are those files that were not completely downloaded and included extraction errors. Additionally, they may contain other compressed corrupted files. They should be sorted then deleted. However, the healthy files are those ones who have no extraction errors. They may have different possibilities. First, there is a simple structure type of compressed files, which has a straightforward path towards the 3ds max file and its related textures and other extensions. However, the complicated structure of compressed files involves long paths to find the 3ds max file or its related data. Moreover, it may contain another compressed file with additional long path. You may have another third type of compressed files that are a little bit tricky. It's the duplicated file name type for different compression extensions. For example, those files have two versions of compression with the same name of the original file. The problem is that, each file has a diverse set of data, but with the same file name and the same preview image as well. The fourth type includes the case that, when there are multiple 3ds max files with the same name, but with different information of 3ds max version. Last but not least, the fifth type is quite similar to the previously mentioned one, but in this case the 3ds max files names contain its render engine version information. So, how we can easily classify all those possibilities in an organized manner? It becomes more complicated now, right? So, it's the time to go back to our chaotic 3D library to see what NAG all can do. First, let's create a start shortcut icon to run NAG all. Then, you should enter your serial number to activate your license. Lastly, you have to define your 3D library path.
After you have finished those two steps, press enter and enjoy your juice time. As shown in the canvas, NAG all starts automatically to operate on uncompressed folders and the compressed ones respectively. It renames everything in the 3D library folder with the original name of the compressed file or the uncompressed folder to match the preview image name. During the renaming process, NAG all is intelligent enough to keep the information of the 3DS Max version if exists. Additionally, it can extract the information of the render engine's version as well. Then, it creates four main folders to organize the file's data. The first folder is the Sources folder. It includes a copied version of all the original 3D library data, which is sorted into three main subfolders. The damaged subfolder contains a copy of all corrupted files or folders that include extraction errors. The healthy subfolder contains a copy of all healthy files or folders that NAG all has successfully performed over them. The preview subfolder includes a copied version of the original preview images before renaming. The second folder is the extensions folder. It includes renamed files of any other extensions than .max or image-based extensions. The third folder is the Textures folder. It includes the original file maps clustered in separate folders to avoid data loss, as some of the maps may have the same name. The last folder is the Trash folder. It includes any other useless files that were found during data organization, like system files, or so. They are collected to be ready for deletion by the user. Now you have a clean library interface with renamed 3DS Max files and its related preview images, ready for manual drag and drop process, or for bridging with assets management plugins, such as Project Manager, Connector, or Autodesk Assets Library. Order your copy now from our online store attached in the video description. See you in the next tutorial.